Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung Min. President Yoon just wrapped up a summit with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in Yongsan, which would be their last summit before Kishida steps down from his current post. For more, let's connect to our correspondent Kim Do-yeon at the presidential office. Do-yeon, what is the latest? Good evening, Jungmin. President Yoon Sung yeol welcomed the Japanese Prime Minister at around 3.30 p.m. earlier this afternoon. This is the 12th and the last summit between the two because, as you said, Kishida is set to step down from his post at the end of this month. The two sides, the two leaders, have worked together since a year and a half ago when the so-called shuttle diplomacy was revived by the two leaders. Take a listen to what they had to say about each other. Since President Yoon's significant decision in March of last year, dialogue and cooperation between our two countries have begun to advance significantly in many areas, following the direction that we set forth together at the Tokyo summit. After a simple short welcoming, the two first met with their top diplomatic officials such as the Foreign Minister, National Security Advisor and others. Then the two got into an expanded group meeting. According to Deputy National Security Advisor Kim Tae-hyo just moments ago, the two sides reached several agreements. First, they agreed that the two countries would aid each other's citizens upon conflict in third countries. They will share information regarding their national, overseas nationals, acknowledging uh, that this cooperation framework would add to the protection of their citizens. Second, they also agreed to simplify the ent border entry for both sides. Furthermore, South Korea has received documents from Japan listing the victims of forced labor during Imperial Japan's wartime colonization of Korea. All right, now let's delve a little bit more into the summit. Uh, tell us about the significance. As for the background, the local media have dubbed the two's relationship as bromance. Before President Yoon visited Tokyo in March 2023, the two nations were not enjoying the best of relationships. There was a big historical issue between them, the compensation for Korean victims forced to work by Japan during World War II. But as I said, with President Yoon offering a solution from the South Korean side first, the two leaders revived the relationship, leading to the current rate of civilian exchanges and more. Also, in terms of security, they expanded cooperation, including the trilateral Camp David summit with the U.S., where the three countries documented security exchanges. In addition, the two won the John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award together. Now, more details on their way. I'll make sure to have an update for you at our later newscast. Jungmin. Our presidential office correspondent, Kim Do-yeon. Many thanks.